here just uh, I've got a couple of different sorts of these two-on-one um, chainsaw files which take down the raker and, and do the and the cutter at the same time this one from that I've got from still is, is really good it, um, it, the actual um, round file gets into the gives you a nice hook on the tooth and um, and it seems to set the raker at the at a right height um, but you'll just see how these things work um, you'll see that there's um, there's these two rails here this one here and this one right here those two actually sit on these two teeth right there they actually sit on them and then they it's those teeth the height of those uh, sorry those two teeth that um, set the depth of the raker as well we're using this flat bar here um, and as you can see this is for a 3 8 pitch um, chain and it, and it sits nicely on each tooth the one in front as well as the one at the back and um, the height of the round file in relation to I suppose these guide rails um, it gives you a nice uh, nice hook on the um, on the blade of the chain um, and it cuts really well I thought I'd go now these ones here um, you can see I've got one in parts but this is for 0 0.325 which has a, um, a which has a 4.8 millimeter round file on it uh, I thought I'd try and save some money and bought one off AliExpress which is this one um, and I th but it didn't actually fit on a 0 0.325 um, blade and I thought maybe I just got a dud and I so I purchased another one uh, from a this one was a 3.2 0 0.325 uh, it's stamped Holtz former um, to my <coughs> disappointment I found that they're exactly the or exactly the same um, there's a couple of problems with this 0 0.325 file um, the guide rails don't sit do not sit on the chain properly um, now just give you an example um, so here's one guide rail and here's the other guide rail and it just is it's, it's too far off this guide rail should be closer this one here should be closer further towards the the back one over here so that it sits on that on, on that to tooth correctly now at the moment it's not even yeah it's just wrong there you go it's it, it drops off the front um it's just no good um not only that so that's one problem is you're going to get sometimes it'll sit on it on the top of the tooth but other times it'll drop down onto the raker like it just has and the other problem that you have is the the round file is set too high up uh, from these guide rails so it doesn't actually give you a nice hook on the um, on this part of the tooth in here it sort of makes it quite flat that's just no good um, so unfortunately yep a few you know, I suppose you get what you pay for I um, yep I, I tried to uh, uh, repair it not repair it but alter it by changing by trying to shift these rails in but it was uh, which I could do uh, with this one here but it wasn't until afterwards that I discovered that the height between uh, the height of or how far the round file actually sits into the cutter that it doesn't go down deep enough and you can't change that that, that can't be changed um, well it's not worth it anyway yeah so just a you know, bit of a buyer beware video uh, uh, yep I think the only way I can solve it is to go and buy the still one the still for uh, still sharp enough for the 0 0.325 
unfortunately. Um, at least I'll have uh, a flat couple of two spare flat files and a couple of uh, 4.4 spare 4.8 millimeter <coughs> round files that I might be able to use in the still one. Uh, assuming I get one of those ones, but yeah, anyway, pretty disappointing. Whoever the manufacturer is for this particular uh, two on one file, yep, don't fall for it. Yeah, you've been warned.